My name's Danny Bloomfield. My goals for the Premier Sport franchise are to be successful, um, to offer our customers the best quality possible, um, and to provide employment opportunities for, for all of our staff and, and progress their careers within the sport industry. The, the Premier Sport franchise fits, fits really well with my future goals. It's in my long-term plans. There's nothing else in those plans apart from doing what I'm doing now, um, but just progressing it, increasing, like I said earlier, what we're doing, the quality of what we're doing, um, and ensuring that it's a sustainable future for me, my staff, um, and then ultimately my family to be able to rely on that. Initially, what attracted me to, to Premier Sport was as a, as a paid hobby. Um, being involved in football, and it was Premier Soccer at the time when I started, it was fantastic because it linked in with, with playing still, um, and it just provided me that opportunity to, to get involved in, in a job as it was then. Now it's turned into more of a business and a career. It's, it's actually gone beyond anything I dreamt of and learnt more than I ever thought I would and doing something totally different to what I ever imagined I would. So uh, initially it was a paid hobby. So the business planning process was really important. Um, it, it really helped me identify where we were currently and also where, we, where I wanted us to go. Um, and then it just enabled me that time to step back and look at everything and, and see what building blocks I needed to put in place to, to get to my vision, um, what I needed to include within that and how quickly I thought we could get there. And what it's done is we've got three years of our business plan done in, in 12 months. So it's enabled me to see it and, and go after it. The scalability of our business is huge. The amount of potential still within the business is, is there. Um, we've set our business up in Suffolk to, to incorporate all of that that comes and we're now ready for another growth period within the management infrastructure. So we're ready to take, take on what we need to do now. Um, but at the forefront of that was making sure that the quality stayed the same. So whilst we grew, we didn't want to lose the, the um, quality of what we were delivering and the personal touch that we had with our, our customers. My concerns about starting my business initially were very limited because it was a much different scale to what the business is now. It was more like I said a paid hobby. Um, so it was very low level and it, was, it, it wasn't much of a gamble at all. But as I grew into it and the business got bigger, the concerns grew a little bit. Um, I was then doing things that I'd never had any experience or qualifications to do, and I was learning as I went along. But as you're younger, you tend to just deal with that and then think about it afterwards. So I, I was lucky that I didn't have many concerns and it, it was a different beast to what it is now. Although the potential was nowhere near as great as it is now, so I think that, that counteracts each other. The parts of my role that want me to, to get up and, and get ready for the day ahead is, is meeting lots of different people. I love the fact that I'm not stuck behind a desk and I can, and I can get out and, and see a whole host of, of different people and, and people from different life uh, experiences. I like travelling the, the county um, and, and being in different places as well. And I think it's the satisfaction of seeing the children being engaged in what they're doing being able to provide a, a quality service to the people that, that I've promised something to and thankfully we deliver that. Um, and also seeing the employment opportunities that we've provided people who were where I was 11 years ago that wanted to be involved in sport but, but didn't know how to get into it. And those people now would have been missed in the profession of, of teaching children if they wouldn't have been able to get in this route. Uh, if it was just going to university like me, that wasn't for them. Um, now we've got We've got 30 plus people that, that have lots to offer and they haven't been missed out. So my role as a champion is to facilitate meetings um, throughout the year. Um, it's to, to enable those meetings for people to share good practice, support franchisees, um, share good news, um, 
and just pull the pull the team together. We're, we're creating a team atmosphere in East Anglia now, which is, is exactly what we need to do. We're all working for the same company, for the same dreams and, and the same values. So it's important we important we pull those resources together and don't don't fight our own individual battles so that's how I see my role um, and I see it as as a, as a important role just to just to pull everything together and uh, enable us to be a stronger force together rather than on our own the people that inspire me are wide and great it's um, I don't know if there's any one particular person there's lots of sporting heroes that I have from my football background, um, Gary Lineker and Paul Gascoigne particularly for different reasons inspire me, um, as you can imagine totally different characters. And then there's now people within the, the business world and people that I look up to and, and see how they conduct themselves is something that I aspire to and I try and take the, the bits that I feel are good out of people um, and put them all together to be myself. Um, ultimately and, and try and just be true to what I believe um, but taking the, the best bits out of people that I see and, and try and incorporate that.